So here you have the, um, the ATEM 300 watt solar panel and the KT Cables 300 watt folding solar panel. I'm just going to do a quick compare on these. They're both uh, rated or uh, rated by the manufacturer as 300 watt, but I found quite a difference in the two. You can see the difference in configuration with the ATEM in a 4x2 rectangular configuration and the KT Cables closest to me in a 5x3. Um, so the, the ATEM they're having a uh, is about 1.58 square meters. It's uh, uh, 2120 by 745 KT cables is 1970 by 1140 at around 2.26 meters squared so obviously the KT cables there has got a quite a bit more surface area for the Sun um, so what we're going to do now uh, as you can see from the uh, uh, irradiation uh, graph here from I got from solar cast and also the temperature you can see that fairly ideal testing conditions at about a thousand watt per square meter and it's around about 26 degrees so here just before we go and hook these up to a load on my caravan with a uh, about a I think a 70 percent discharged AGM battery uh, just to see what it can they can push in on a actual real world load just going to test their um, open circuit current, uh, short circuit current rather, and open circuit voltage on the both of these. So the ATEM here is uh, rated at uh, 21.05 uh, volts for open circuit and short circuit current is 19.67 and open current voltage for the KT is 22.15 and the short circuit current is 16.42 amps. So we'll get my multimeter on there and we'll see what's uh, actually getting spat out just out of the Anderson plugs. See here on the KT cables we're getting 22 volts on uh, open circuit and we are getting 16.7 16.8 uh, amps. So I've got the ATEM hooked up at the moment and it's pumping out around about it's climbing at 13 amps. Uh, so anyway, we'll quickly test the voltage. So getting about 19 volts there on the ATEM. Now we're going to go uh, hook these up to a, a load through a PWM controller and see what we can get. Just waiting for, for some clouds to pass. I've just set up a pretty uh, basic sort of stand for the solar blanket so they're not on dirt. The underneath gets very hot uh, if they're in the sun for any length of time so hopefully this just keeps enough airflow underneath them to get a bit more efficiency out of them for the tests and uh, as you can see on the screen now the J hub app on my caravan is recording about a six amp load with about 12.3 volts off the battery and with no input yet onto this KT PWM it's uh, recording pretty similar at 12.4 volts off this Anderson plug that's wired directly onto the, the battery. Um, so we'll get this first, we've got some sun coming back now, so we'll uh, get this first blanket hooked up and see what it puts through. So eight and blanket in full sun. Uh, and according to the um, KT PWM, it's putting out around nine amps, sort of going up and down a little bit. And you can see here on my meter, it's yeah equal to about 100 and, 120 watts or thereabouts uh, with what it's putting back into the van. Now I see the KT solar is hooked up. Uh, and it is putting out 15.5 amps and we see there on my meter putting in somewhere around the, uh, the 200, 200 watt mark which you know, is a, a lot closer to the mark 